Ladies and gentlemen, man, on the line, I got the guy that had the internet on fire this weekend, man. Uh, <laughs> man, the one, the only, Peter Thomas, man. How you, brother, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good, brother. How you doing? I can't complain, man. So, like, I'm catching everybody up to speed. There was a video that leaked over the weekend on the internet that had you and Matt Jordan going at it. And a lot of people was like, oh, snap. Peter Thomas, like, you know, he got that, that reflexibility and, uh, and the ability to hold his own because people thought it was going to be, a, you know, one way, but you kind of, like, flipped the table on it. But, like, how did we even get to that point? I get to that point because Matt Jordan is extremely ignorant. Um, he wasn't ready to be on reality TV. He, uh, he Even though, he, you know, everybody seemed crash and burn. Their last impression they're going to see of him is in holding his head down, crying in the hallway after this girl, supposedly girl, walked away from him. He, he, he didn't really think things out. Um, he came up there to Charlotte with one intention to fight me. He sent me a series of texts telling me he's going to shoot up my club. I, I kept all the texts, too, so because I know he's a liar. You know what I'm saying? And when he got up there, you know, I do um, I do our business with our registration, so I had to be up there any, anyway that morning. When they asked me if I wanted to do the the interview with him, I said, sure, I'll do it. You know, because he was extremely hostile, and I really want to know what he was angry about. Because me and him don't know each other like that. So this came and from it, nowhere? It came from nowhere. And in two years that we shot the Atlanta Housewife that he was on it, uh, I have never personally hung out with him but one night. Okay, we went uh, after the rap party. We went to... Um, to the club, me, him, and Todd. And I actually pay his way to get in the club. I paid $200 to Alex to get him in the club that night. So this guy is extremely ungrateful. And when we got in there, I mean, you know, like the bottles was coming between me and Todd. He don't really have it like that. But anyway, I, I have no idea why he was angry at me or anyone else. And the girl tried to do the interview with him. I promise you, when you guys see this tape, 20 minutes of she trying to do an interview with him, 20 minutes he's trying to get around her to provoke me to fight with me. And I was just laying back there. Right. They talk about me having a box cutter in my pocket, but I actually have a job. I own a restaurant and I own a nightclub, you know, and I, on the, you know, early in the morning when I get over there, I'm unpacking things and doing stuff. So, you know, like I didn't show up with no box cutter to fight with him. I wasn't even trying to fight with him. Everybody <laughs> can see that on the tape. I just lamp in the corner and let him talk crazy because that's what he do. His mouth is reckless. The level of cool that you maintain during the entire situation, like, I didn't see that coming because, like, you know, before no, before even knowing the outcome of the video, I'm like, oh, come on, man. Why is this happening, man? Like, you know, Peter Thomas is, like, 50-plus. Like, why are you even messing with him? But, like, yo, when you put him in that headlock and held him down for at least seven seconds, you know what I'm saying? Like, I almost went to take my car fresh and the flag down and throw up the Jamaican one just on GP. I'm just saying. But I'll th tell you something. I, I, I wanted to, when he came at me, I didn't know what was going to happen, to be honest with you. So all I know is that I grabbed him with my left hand and I put him in a headlock and I flipped him on the table. And I wanted him to see the box cut. I showed it to him. I mean, you, you can't you, you can't underestimate people, dog. Right. You know what I'm saying? All that talking you're doing, if I really wanted to hurt you right now, you, you I got you. Right. And I keep on telling him, you're going to catch one, you keep on talking like that. You know what I'm saying? But I have a lot. I have a lot going on, man. I mean, my, my daughter just had two beautiful boys, twins. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grandfather. You know what I'm saying? Um, my single life is back together. You know what I'm saying? I'm not married anymore. My ex-wife and I are really good friends. We're real cool with each other. You know, we don't have no issues. We try to... We try to exemplify, you know, great behaviors uh, coming out of reality TV with black people. I you know, so, so, so even when we're going through our divorce, we we, we just we weren't going to do that. We're not going to send that out there. We don't want to be looked at on, on a certain level. We, you know, we're building our brand. You know, she have she have several different apparel thing going on, and I have my restaurants and my bar building, and people actually. You, you know, come to my place and, you know, and and embrace me for the fact that, you know, I don't really do that ratchet thing. Yeah. You know, so I was thinking about all of that, man. When that seven seconds you're talking about, I was thinking about all of that because this guy was so ignorant that if I was on the same ignorancy level that he was on, I would have heard him. Yeah, and you could have threw it all yeah. away, man. Well, it's good to see the yeah. level heads prevail. Just for, like, you know, reference, like, this actually happened a while back, and the tape is just now coming out, though, right? Yeah, but, yeah because when he walked out of there, he realized that he got he got beat. You know what I'm saying? So immediately him and his lawyers put up, 
you know, like to block the tape. Immediately they're like, oh, you can't release it. We didn't sign off on the release, the whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? So it took me a while. My lawyer had to subpoena the tape. Ah. He, there's, a war- there's a warrant for his arrest in North Carolina. He has two assaults in North Carolina. The lemon lem- driver that he punched when he came to my uh, bar opening, uh, you know what I'm saying, and then this one. You know, so they definitely, uh, without a doubt, will pick his ass up and lock him up if he's in the state of North Carolina. And he's just reckless. I don't know why he's so bitter. Kenya played him so hard on national TV. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's ever going to recover from that. And, you know, I don't know who would ever give him a shot again. But that was it. He's one and done. And based off the tape I've seen, if he, like, try to throw hands at Kenya, my money's on Kenya. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Kicking in windows and <laughs> getting set because he's coming up there to call me at my club and I'm not taking this call. Yeah, I don't want to be around that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I make sure that my, you know, extending myself, make sure they buy you drinks and, you know, pay for your meal and stuff like that. But I'm not going to hang out with you with your reckless behavior. That's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? We've been on the show. I've been on that show for seven years. Nobody have ever seen me done anything stupid on that show. Ever. Now, you, you play the game well, and, and there's a reason why you've been in this business a long time. Well, I'm just glad you're okay, and I'm glad you're on the better side of this situation, my brother. Yeah, definitely, man. There's a lot of big things going on. We're about to open bar one uh, on Auburn Avenue. You know what I'm saying? We're getting ready to work on that one. You know, the patio is going to be crazy. Y'all going to love it. You know what I'm saying? As L- long as you're still and, cooking you know, up some fly tacos over there, you know I'm there. Oh, you know we got that Jamaican food off the chain, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'll come and see you guys. Man. Tell Ricky and everybody else up there, I said hello, brother. Will do, Mr. Thomas. Stay blessed, man. Thank you, brother. All right, peace.